Is this the best two-story home with Scott Felder? Let's see. In this video, I'm walking you through the newest two-story model home built by Scott Felder. Now this is the Gerald plan and buyers have told me this home has the one structural upgrade they have been looking for with so many builders. And I'm gonna show you that later on in the video. Now the Gerald plan is around 3,800 square feet depending on the structural upgrades that you choose. We have four bedrooms, three full bathrooms and two half bathrooms. Now, what I'm finding buyers are saying about this home is they love the design that's here in the kitchen, which we're going to come back to in a second. But what they're blown away by is this main living room that is open to the second story with sliding glass doors on the back wall. And so many people are commenting about this fireplace design that goes all the way up to the ceiling. Now we're gonna walk through this entire home in detail and I'm gonna start over in the kitchen. While we head over there, let me introduce myself. My name is Raj Sahu. I'm a realtor in Austin, Texas, and I've represented clients with 20 different builders. So I'm gonna give you the perspective of walking so many new construction homes with buyers. And then by the end of this video, I'm gonna to wanna to hear from you in the comments. What did you think about this new model home with Scott Felder? Now, what I can tell you what buyers are thinking about this kitchen is they love the stark contrast. Notice the dark countertops that have some light veins running through it. You have dark cabinets on the bottom. And what that forces your eyes to do is it goes up following these tan colored upper cabinets, which I think is incredible. What's also incredible is above this six burner gas stovetop, notice how they put the countertops up into the backsplash and followed the vent hood all the way up to the ceiling. I actually just had a buyer pick that at the design studio. And even though it comes with quite the price tag, I think it's gonna look so elegant, especially because the countertop they chose had some veins running through it similar to this, but instead they did a light colored countertop with tan colored cabinets. And I think it's gonna provide a different contrast, but still that contrast so many buyers are looking for. Now on this side, we have that stainless steel apron sink, but I love this view as you look up, take a look at that fireplace design. It matches up really well with the cabinets and the countertops that are here. And that's clearly done by design, right? As soon as you walk up to that main living area, your eyes look all around at the beautiful design upgrades that they chose here. And that continues in this butler's pantry area, which I think they did really well with cabinets. I like how they fit in a window here just to add some natural light. So when you go to your morning cup of coffee or tea, it's such a great place to have some natural light come in. We even have a very large pantry. And I think this is based on feedback from other four plans that uh, I was walking in this community where the pantries were definitely tighter than what you saw there. And I think Scott Felder's getting some really good space in their new plans like this one. Now, as we head out to the main living area, one thing I want to mention here is we will talk later on about the lots that are here in Santa Rita Ranch, even lots that are coming up shortly after I post this video. Uh, but I want to get back into this living room because I love the space in here. We're actually looking up into the game room that is upstairs that has a media room right off of that. So I can't wait for you to see that as well. What I want to head to next is going to be the primary bedroom and bathroom. Now, what I found Scott Felder is really known for is going to be their outdoor patio areas and their luxury primary bathrooms. And I think that combination here is definitely in this model home, but they've now added this open to the second story, which you don't see as often in a lot of Scott Felder plans. Now we do have an outdoor kitchen area. And as you'll see in that backyard, this is a new model home, like I mentioned. So they're still working on some things back there. But what I don't always see is this in the primary bedroom where we have a pitch in the ceiling and these beautiful beams running across that ceiling that looks so elegant. And that accent wall behind the bed just complements every other design upgrade that's in here, including this dark sliding door that opens up into this primary bathroom. 
Now I did warn you, <laughs> Scott Felder is known for some of their primary bathrooms. And I love this one with vanities on the right side. We got a freestanding tub right in the center. And then we have a massive walk-in shower that we're gonna circle around to. And this just feels so luxurious. Now it, it is one of the upgrades that you can do with Scott Felder. The standard bathroom does not necessarily look like this, but this upgrade just allows for incredible design like that tile backsplash behind the tub and then two shower heads in your walk-in shower. Now, what this reminds me of is one of three of my clients that actually closed with Scott Felder within the last year, and they built a little bit higher square footage, uh, well over 4,000 square feet, and they had this massive luxury bathroom where their walk-in shower had a door right in the middle, and then it fanned out to the right with a shower head, and then fanned out to the left with another shower head opposite of each other. And so it's just this huge walk-in shower that really didn't even need a doorway to get in because it was just so massive. Now I will tell you, I do have a walkthrough of that home. Of course I do, right? I have videos of almost everything that's out there. Uh, and that plan was called the Lano plan with Scott Felder. So reach out to me if you want a walkthrough of that, but stick with me on this plan because I think Scott Felder did a great job taking the good parts of floor plans that they have built for years and they have put it into this plan, the Gero plan. And we're gonna talk later on in the video and actually show you that structural upgrade that so many buyers want. And while we're here in the primary closet, I did wanna talk about the lots that are here in Santa Rita Ranch. And actually, before we do that, take a look at the tile that's here. I like how they extended the tile from the primary bathroom into the closet. I do prefer to do this when you walk into the primary bathroom and you can see all the way out into the closet because then when you have one continuous form of flooring, this space feels so much larger. And of course in here, you can't really see that closet until you actually walk inside the shower. Either way, I think it's a good upgrade, but I really prefer it when you can see that closet right when you enter that bathroom. Now there is a powder bathroom right outside of this bedroom, and then we're gonna head outside. And going back to those lots, I was actually just out there at the time I'm recording this, and the lots are beautiful. There is a new section coming up in Santa Rita Ranch where the developer purposely kept some great green belt lots, some lots that back up to greenery, some lots that back up to a detention pond. And Scott Felder right now, at the time I'm posting this video, does have some green belt backing lots that look incredible. In fact, Scott Felder currently has a home for sale that backs up to greenery. That is one of their most popular one story plans. Uh, that backs up to a true green belt, meaning there is a dry creek bed back there. So I'll detail that later on in the video and give you a good visual of what that looks like. Now, I'll also give you a visual of this outdoor patio, which is large, has the outdoor kitchen area along that right side. And if you can imagine this backing up to greenery or a big lot, that's why so many people love coming out to this area called Santa Rita Ranch. Now, Santa Rita is the top selling community in the Austin Metro. They are planning on building 10,000 homes here. And actually in the distance is one of their amenity centers that they have in the north section of Santa Rita Ranch. It is massive. It's a big amenity center. They have a gym that they call a wellness barn, which I think is super fun and super cool. And then they have a massive pool in the back that has an enormous slide going into that pool. What's most interesting about this community is that amenity center that I just mentioned that's close by to this model home is huge. It's on four acres. And if you walk, uh, I recommend walking past the pool, take a look at the huge slides that are going into it. And just know that the newest amenity center that's currently getting built at the time I'm posting this video is double the size of that one in the north section. That one's four acres. The newest one is eight acres. It's gonna have three pools, gonna have pickleball courts. And that's what Santa Rita Ranch is all about. They just go the extra mile when it comes to amenities. And they try to get people outside of their homes, meeting their neighbors, just getting involved in the community. It's just very lively and active, just so eventful. And that's why I have so many buyers that are interested in Santa Rita Ranch or already living here. Now, getting back into the plan, this is going to be the coat closet. And prior to this, we did see the utility room. And the reason why my videographer kind of 
backed up into that utility room is because if you face the other way, the builder agent's offices are, are there, which would be in the garage area. So he didn't want to show that because they were working privately with clients in that area, but just know next to that utility room would be access to your two car garage. Now we do have a separate one car side entrance garage giving this plan a three car garage total, but they did use that one of the garage spaces, which we're gonna see here in a second. What I wanna move on to is going to be this study because it's incredible. I love all the design elements that they have in here with the built-in cabinetry, the chandelier, and even the ceiling design with lights within the ceiling. Absolutely incredible. For so many of my buyers that are in tech, they tell me they want a special place to work from home. And I wanna hear from you if you're in tech, what did you think about that study? Uh, and what I love most about it too is when you walk out of that study, you're just open to the second story where you have that chandelier and that grand entrance. Now you might be wondering what in the world is this with this sitting room TV up on the wall. We have a kitchenette here with a microwave, mini fridge and a sink and a bedroom just beyond it. Well, this is that structural upgrade so many buyers have been asking for. It's what most builders call a generational suite. Now, I'll talk about what it takes up here in a second, but what it provides is a bedroom that has an in-suite full bathroom and a walk-in shower and then a separate seating area so that if you have parents or somebody elderly staying with you on and you want them to stay on the first floor, you want them to have a private area, maybe where they can watch TV and in-suite full bathroom, like we're showing here with a walk-in shower, then this is the upgrade for you. And I'm having so many buyers mention this as a need that they have because they want their family, their parents to stay with them comfortably on the first floor. In fact, I have a client that's under contract in this neighborhood. They're about three months away from completing their home. And I'm so excited for them because they told me that their parents already have their flights booked for when they close on their home. They're gonna be here shortly after that. And they, their parents can't wait to spend time in their generational suite, especially their parents actually live in India. So they're coming in for quite a while. Uh, congrats to them. They actually just got a 10 year visa. And I can't wait to hear about my clients spending time with their family, especially parents staying with them comfortably in their generational suite. Now in this plan, they give you access to the utility room. I actually need to double check if this is a structural upgrade providing this door, but I can definitely do that and let you know if you are interested in that. And then this does take up the side entrance one car garage space. So just keep that in mind. This would normally just be a bedroom with an in-suite full bathroom, but if you want that separate sitting area, then that does take up space in the garage. Now we're gonna head upstairs. I can't wait for you to see this game room, media room. And I'm gonna tell you why people like that sitting room downstairs outside of that bedroom. So if you're wondering, is that really necessary to take up garage space? I'm gonna tell you why here in a second. But I wanna move on to this because I love these trends and windows that you're met with as soon as you get to the top of the landing of this second story. I love looking down here. I'm so glad my videographer was able to capture this because that living room is epic and that fireplace design is out of this world. Now we are here in this game room loft area. I like how they put a couple of desks there for uh, if you need kids to get to work and finish their schoolwork, that's a good place for that to happen. Uh, in my opinion, I think it'd be tough to do when there's a TV right off of my shoulder. <laughs> I don't know about you. I, I remember as a kid, I had to kind of go off into a corner and get away from all the distractions, which usually meant uh, TVs. But let me know what you think about that. What most buyers think about this media room is they love the space that's in here. Take a look at how big this couch is. I love all the uh, footrests that are here and the artwork that's on the walls. And I've actually had a lot of buyers paint their media room black or a dark color and it just provides this calming effect in that media room and just really makes it into this incredible theater room so let me know what you think about that media room and if you need a visual of what media rooms look like with dark walls let me know i got videos of about four to five clients that did it in fact i have a video of one of my clients that did speakers behind a perforated screen 
So literally the sound comes out of the screen and of course he had surround sound and it's just incredible. Uh, and unfortunately I, I can't give you a video of what that sounds like uh, for obvious reasons, but I, I just think it's incredible and I can actually give you the third party vendor he used to get all that work done in his media room. Now I told my videographer, I want details because so many of my clients are uh, software engineers, they're very detail oriented. So I told him, show the closets. People are very concerned about storage when they move to Texas because we don't have basements here. And so I'm trying to show you as many of those as I can. And by the way, prior to that, we were looking at a powder bathroom upstairs, which I'm actually finding some buyers are getting more interested in, especially buyers that tell me when they have kids upstairs, they don't want you know, friends of their kids going into the bedrooms and then going into the bathrooms that are in those bedrooms. They're always messy to begin with. <laughs> they don't want people using them, but they need a guest bathroom upstairs. And so that's where that powder bathroom is a great bathroom for the location being right next to the media room and the game room. Moving on, we have a couple of bedrooms split by a full bathroom on this side. And I like how the flow of this two story plan makes sense. You have a game room, media room on one side of the stairwell and then two bedrooms and a full bathroom on the other side. And while we go through this, there are a couple things that I want to mention here. The first is that sitting room downstairs. So I've had people say, what's the point of that sitting room? And I do have a good answer for that. But before I enter it, I want to mention a shout out to Shane at Scott Felder, who you're going to see in the reflection in that mirror. I'm so glad my videographer caught him because I'm definitely keeping that in. And Shane, if you're watching, I appreciate you and always great working with you. But getting back to that sitting room, what I've found with a as a family of four, so my wife and I have a uh, two year old daughter, we have a six month old son. And when my parents are over, my dad loves watching documentaries about history. He's a big history junkie and I love that. I, I love talking history with my dad. The problem is when he's with my kids and we're all together, I just can't have him watching TV. We try to limit screen time for our kids or I definitely don't want them watching like an hour long documentary with my dad, uh, but I want him to see that. And it's so nice that instead of telling him he's got to go upstairs, I can just I don't even need to tell him if I had that generational suite, he could just go to his own private area and watch TV there and kind of get some privacy because my parents love my kids. Obviously, every grandparent, I think, loves their grandkids, uh, but sometimes they need a break. And I can tell that, right? Like, especially young kids, you know, we have two kids under the age of three. It can be a handful. And I, I can respect the fact that sometimes they need a break and I want them to take that break in their own comfortable space. And that's exactly what that generational suite can provide. Now, the second thing I wanted to mention is location and community matter so much. And I have a great deal of data that backs that up. And I wanna give you one of those data points right here. There is a home that is in a community south of Santa Rita Ranch. And that home has been on market for over seven months. It originally listed around $1.2 million. It's a fantastic home. It's got over 4,200 square feet, five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, has a view off the backyard, has tall ceilings in the living room, in the kitchen, the dining room. It's a fantastic plan. In fact, I had a client close on that plan in another community two months ago. It's a very popular plan, but that home is not selling. In fact, they have reduced the price down from around $1.2 million to below $900,000. Now, I don't want to give you the address because I don't want to embarrass anybody. I'm sure the sellers are not uh, watching this, but I don't want to put down another listing. What I do want to emphasize is if you ask the question of why is that home not selling? It's a beautiful home, incredible view, and it's over seven months on market without a buyer. The answer is the community. That community is not known for forever homes. In fact, I was telling buyers back in 2020, 2021, even now, if you want to buy in that community, buy a starter home, buy something under 2,500 square feet that you're probably going to rent in two to four years and probably graduate to something else. But if you want a forever home, buy a forever home in communities that will do well for forever homes, both for livability and future resale. And I'm telling you, I know what those communities look like and I have the data to back it up. So if you want to take a look at that data together, reach out to me. And if you want to see a home for sale with Scott Felder, stick with me for a second and I'll show you how to access it right here.
Now I want to hear from you in the comments. What did you think of the newest model home with Scott Felder? What did you think of that grand entrance as soon as you walk in through the front door? Now, if you want to understand pricing in the Austin metro area, I put exclusive homes for sale on my website at the top of the description of this video. So go ahead and click on there for more pricing. And then if you need help navigating through the market, my number's at the bottom of the description of this video. Shoot me a text introducing yourself and I will reach out to you when I can. Finally, if you want to see that Scott Felder home that's for sale, that's their old model home floor plan, but is a fantastic one-story plan, go ahead and click right here. And as always, I hope that helps. Take care, everyone.